La question de la responsabilité the of the corporate responsibility really leads to another matter, that of the role played by the company in society in the modern context where the company has become a political stake because it plays an essential role in our society. Now, the uh, CRS movement and idea seem to be insufficient to provide a deep understanding regarding the uh, relationship and relative stakes between uh, company, companies and society. French-speaking research in social sciences really did not really look at the interface between the two, and therefore there is no real structured political debate on this matter. The field of research uh, was uh, fully occupied by uh, subjects regarding CRS under the uh, instrumental perspective and looking only at company management. Now, the current CRS movement, based on speeches, uh, policies and standards, but with no cohesion, is currently showing its limitations because there seems to be a collective uh, liability, responsibility, which must be approached in a global way with multidimensional aspects, economy, society, health, and on the uh, global level. The whole idea of uh, responsibility uh, carried by responsibilities carried by the companies has moved away from the uh, Anglo-Saxon uh, initial notion, which seemed to be based only on managerial practices, long-term decisions, and discretionary decisions made by the company, disregarding the fact that uh, public authorities are there to define the institutional framework and the limits within, within which companies have a right to conduct business. So the CRS is not limited to the individual story of the uh, company owner or manager. The company is encased in society, is submitted to the same laws as society, and uses resources drawn from the uh, common heritage of humankind. Therefore, it must also shoulder responsibilities in order to be able to conduct business in a legitimate way. The CRIS movement and attempted to uh, symbolize this problem, but it got bogged down and could not uh, find a way out of the problem. This is due to the fact that nowadays two CRS concepts are coexisting. One vision is the mainstream vision where companies have their own performance, economic and financial performance objectives. And this perspective considers the CRS as a way to reinforce uh, the reputation and legitimacy of companies, reducing the risk and improving competitiveness. This mainstream uh, notion is the one defended by uh, the world of business and some political parties. The other vision is that where companies are entities uh, which are encased in society, inserted in society, and therefore not only defend their own interests, but also contribute to uh, other interests uh, within, the, within society. This clearly highlights the responsibility deriving from the second vision, and these uh, responsibilities are carried by, uh, are borne by uh, companies that belong to the civil society. Some externalities are positive for the company, and only those are highlighted. And in this way, one only looks at voluntary approaches from companies. CRS is perceived as a way to prevent public authorities from uh, trying to regulate company business with uh, standards and legislations. Companies are ready to contribute to uh, the solution uh, to environmental issues, but they want to be free to decide how to do this and how this is going to be assessed, whether they achieve the result. Therefore, CRS is still a relatively blurry object, not well defined, and only designed to highlight companies uh, with good practices, but based on no accurate criteria. 
The practices will sometimes change the way uh, companies conduct business, but will not actually question the economic model and whether the economic model is compatible with uh, sustainable development. So the matter of uh, corporate responsibility, social responsibility, when seen under the first CRS uh, vision, has allowed the managers uh, to uh, hijack the whole process to its own benefit. CRS was uh, instrumentalized and uh, perceived as a source of opportunities to improve profitability, competitiveness. And companies became obsessed with the idea to demonstrate that there is a convergence between good social performances and environmental performances and economic and financial performances. But this is not systematically the case. The second vision is based on the concept of accountability in English, redevabilité in French. Companies must report on their activities and the consequences thereof, but they're also accountable towards society and therefore must reduce the environmental impact when this impact is uh, unfavorable for the local population and the environment. Therefore, negative externalities should be denounced and uh, legislation or regulation should be implemented in order to improve uh, socially responsible behaviors and uh, in order to reward socially acceptable behavior. If CRS uh, is at the service of competitiveness, this uh, will involve too many limitations. Voluntary approaches are not there to push all companies all at the same time, all in the same direction, but rather to uh, discriminate between them, considering that the market will be able to tell them apart and uh, see, uh, tell the uh, good rain uh, apart from uh, the chaff. So we're not trying to uh, single out a company uh, to show that it champions the CRS concept, but rather to draw attention to the activity of all the companies and the impact that their activities can have. Assessing behaviors of uh, economic entities is something that must be done in a given territory with a given chain of values rather than on the level of a corporation or a group of companies.